Using the sample superstore data, find what percent of profit was generated by the top 10 products with the highest sales. So uh, you can see that I've already connected the orders uh, worksheet of the sample superstore data set. And I'm going to show you two ways you can answer this question. You can either create a group or you can create a set to answer the question. So let me begin by creating a group. And to do that, I'm going to drag a product name to the rows, add all members simply to display all the products uh, on this data. Next, I'm going to drag cells uh, to the text and sort the data in descending order by cells. So I can have the products with the highest cells uh, at the top here. And now to create my group, I'm simply going to select uh, the top items or rather the top 10 items uh, from the top here. And I believe, uh, sorry, let me just select it again. I believe these are the top items and you can see them here, 10 items selected uh, from the top. So basically these uh, 10 items are the top 10 products by sales because you can see I've already sorted the data by sales. And let's create a group by simply clicking on this uh, group icon. And once you do that, you will see that Tableau will add a new dimension uh, to the data pane here, which is called the product name group. And this dimension contains two members. It contains uh, these members, you can see them, uh, whereby uh, the top 10 products, you can see them here highlighted in green, uh, have been combined into this single uh, data point. While the rest of products have been combined into a single data point called other, if you want to edit these names, you can simply come to this uh, new dimension created. That is the product name. Uh, open the drop down menu, go to edit group, and you can rename them here. Just select uh, this one and we can rename it. Uh, let's call it top 10. Top 10 products. And you can also rename this other one, but in this case, let me uh, just leave it as it is and click OK. And now to answer my question, let me clear this worksheet. I'm simply now going to create, or rather I'm going to drag this product name group to the view, whereby you can be able to see the top 10 products and the rest of products. And next I'm going to drag profit to the text. And you can be able to see the profit generated by the top 10 products by sales is 43,075. And now in this case, we are interested on the percent of profit that was contributed by these top 10 products by sales. And to compute that, we're simply going to add a quick table calculation percent of total by simply coming in to sum of profit, then add a quick table calculation percent of total. And now you can be able to say uh, that 15.04% of the profit was generated by the top 10 products by sales. So that is one way to answer that question. The other way to answer this question is basically by creating a set. So let me open a new worksheet and I'm going to create a set by simply uh, going to the product name. So right click on the product name, then create a set. Let me just rename this set uh, top 10 products by sales. And I'm going to go to the third sub menu here that is top by field, whereby you can see here, I'm going to set it as top 10 uh, products by sales. So let me change this one to sales because I'm interested on sales, whereby sales is aggregated using sum. Okay, and I click OK. And now when you drag this set to the view, basically it's going to contain the inset. Inset is whereby we have uh, the top 10 products by sales and the outset uh, is the rest of product. And you can be able to see that by simply dragging, let's say a product name to the view here, add all members. And you can be able to see that um, there are 10 products uh, under the inset. So these are the top 10 products by, by sales. And now let's answer our question by simply dragging our profit to the text and add a quick table calculation percent of total. And now you can see that the top 10 products by sales contributed 15.8, not 15.8, but 
percent of the total profit. So that's how you could have answered that question. Thanks everyone.